Hello everyone, welcome back for another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection review. In front of me now and before you on the screen you see issue number 80, the uh, Federation Mission Scout Ship seen in Star Trek Insurrection. And as you can see there's the model and the magazine. Looks very nice there. So let me put the uh, model aside and uh, get to the magazine. So first off you notice that there's a nice image on the cover there. Uh, kind of coming at you a little bit and uh, nice, some nice detail on that image and as well as some basic information down on the right hand corner it is considered a scout of course in the 2370s and the 24th century uh, it is 24 meters long and its maximum speed is warp 5 interestingly because uh, you know that's about as fast as the NX-01 Turning the page, uh, follows the usual magazine layout uh, from all of the ships in the collection, uh, including the table of contents and the uh, guide on how to uh, mount the model to its stand, and of course some more specification information. It is considered a scout ship operated by the Federation in the late 24th century. Again, 24 meters long, uh, approximately one pilot, uh, with a total of maybe five to ten passengers. Uh, its top speed is warp five and it has phaser emitters and photon torpedoes for weaponry. Turn the page there and there's a nice underside view of the ship there as well as some text and a screen cap from the movie it, it is uh, featured in. More screen caps from the movie as well as more text about it and trivia and there's the uh, plan view showing where everything, where all the components are and what they do, as well as some more trivia and text in the corners there and on the sides. And here's the design and filming of the Federation Scout ship. Uh, nice concept artwork in there, it's nice history about it, and of course the uh, text that shows you uh, basically talks about why they came up with the design they did and, and so on and so forth. And here's a magazine filler, uh, which I call anyway. It is Star Trek Insurrection, a production diary. Basically talks about uh, the various aspects of the production of Star Trek Insurrection. Probably the least popular or one of the least popular of the uh, Trek films. But I like it. There's some more in that section about the production, including some set designs, Brent Spiner in the water, uh, and I believe it's common knowledge that when he walked into that freezing cold water in the lake in the Sierra Nevada with his uniform on that uh, he was very very uncomfortable so they made sure to get it done in one take so that um, you know so that he wouldn't have to do it again especially considering the water was like five degrees Celsius turning the page there's more about the production of course and the sets And the on-screen appearance page, uh, <laughs> which is basically only in one movie, sadly. Uh, we didn't get to see too much of it, but I would like to have seen more. Um, of course, designed by John Aves and Herman Zimmerman. And uh, so, yeah, so a little bit more trivia here for those of you who are interested. You can check it out. And next will be the Zindi Reptilian Warship seen on Star Trek Enterprise. So I look forward to sharing that with you later on. And... There is the back of the magazine featuring a nice view of the ship there. So that rounds up the magazine, issue number 83, 80, no, excuse me, 80, that. And uh, let's get to the model. All right, there is the model itself in the box it comes in. And uh, looks fairly nice there. And let me get it out. Alright, and the first impression is fairly nice. Um, it's a very, very nice model. The ship itself is very, very cool. Um, I have to say I've been wanting this one for a very long time. I wanted it ever since I saw the movie back when I was in the old ninth grade or so. Um, it's a very, very nice model, I keep repeating myself. Uh, the panel lines are very nice. 
a nice amount of detail not too much but not too little of course you have your registry information which is NCC 75227 uh, oddly enough there's no USS name or any other kind of designation it just has a register number and of course there's the side view there the port and starboard views and you got your warp nacelles built in so no pylons this time and this is kind of like a reddish color plastic which is a uh, clear plastic which is definitely nice kind of like the defiant class and uh, the back no plastic but the uh, engines are kind of blue so or at least painted blue and of course the impulse engines are painted red on the rear which is a bit of a bummer but uh, that's kind of expected these days uh, the cockpit itself is all black um, but this is a very nice model it is for the most part metal uh, and the plastic portion being the uh, docking hatches and etc etc up here and down here is also plastic but this is definitely metal um, so if you're looking for a good die cast one this is definitely one to have um, and there's the docking hatch there which connected the scout ship to the Enterprise E shuttle seen as seen in the movie so yeah this is a very nice model I'm very very happy with this one uh, definitely always wanted this one and uh, this is the ship that has never ever ever been released in any form whatsoever uh, as far as I know not even Hallmark has done a Christmas ornament uh, or any other ship companies or model companies have done it so this is definitely a first and I am very very pleased with it and uh, so yeah if you're definitely picking up all the Federation slash Starfleet slash Earth ships then this is definitely one you would have if you're, of course if you're a fan of Insurrection the movie itself then pick this up um, if you're uh, just don't care about it or don't, or don't care about that movie at all then definitely pass this by but you would really be doing yourself a disservice because this is a really nice model and a nice ship in my opinion um, very very nice so checking it out the view there a little up close And of course, the model comes with the stand. So I can open it up here. And there's the stand itself. It simply says Star Starfleet Scout Ship, and I guess a random part number, which is actually different than what the magazine itself refers to it as. Uh, the magazine says Mission Scout Ship. On the back, it just says Starfleet Scout Ship. So whatever. And of course, the stand goes into its base like this and then it mounts to some degree like that so yeah that is the Federation mission scout ship or Starfleet scout ship depending on how you want to call it and uh, next to its magazine and that there rounds up and completes issue number 80 the Federation Mission Scout Ship seen on Star Trek Insurrection. Next up, I hope to show you the Zindi Reptilian Cruiser from Enterprise. So that ought to be an interesting look. Uh, and of course, I thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to catch you later. Live long and prosper. And stay young, just like an insurrection.